Sometimes people come down here, sign contracts, or they want to see shingles in person, and they have a place to come to. And when you walk into a building, an office, a brick and mortar building, you know the standards are going to be higher right off the bat. Are you still a dangerous list? I am, yeah. You know, I mean, we've won the award since 2012, all the way up to 2020. EAS Roofing, we couldn't just close up our doors tomorrow. Everybody knows where we're at. The hard work pays off. If you, if you want to do something, you can do it. You just got to put your mind to it. If you don't have the respect for the people that are up on that roof every day, and you don't truly know what it takes, I, I think you're going to go through a lot of people. My name is Eugene Smith and I'm the owner of EAS Roofing. So I started roofing when I was 18 years old and uh, started my own company when I was 22. When I started off, I was just a laborer working for another company, doing a lot of new construction. In 08, the market crashed and I was a repair tech for another company after that. So I started repairing roofs and soon enough was the lead service tech of that company. 2010. Uh, is when I started EAS Roofing. I started subcontracting for Home Depot and Lowe's. My office was actually underneath a set of steps that I had. I had a desk, a printer, and a computer. We kept outgrowing where we were at. You know, we ended up having to get a showroom. And in 2017, we were able to grow our company and give each department their own office space to really um, flourish in, in their department and set new standards for the company. I mean, when you walk into a building, an office, a brick and mortar building, you know the standards are gonna be higher right off the bat. You know, they're not meeting me at my house. I'm not cutting paychecks for my truck. You know, they're coming down to my office collecting payment, and there's a standard with that. In 2020, we added our, uh, our shop next door, and it's a four car garage bay that we're able to add all of our material, keep everything looking good on Route 8. So you have a beautiful location. I mean, this is like massive par parking lot. We definitely get a lot of people to go, oh, I seen you down there on Route 8. You know, I know you guys are right in my uh, neck of the woods, and sometimes people come down here, sign contracts, or they want to see shingles in person, and they have a place to come to, so. And then this is our showroom. Yeah, these are old piercing roofing guns. They have the hopper in them, and the nails would just slide down. Are you still a dangerous list? I am, yeah. You know, I mean, we've won the award since 2012, all the way up to 2020, but they helped me grow. I mean, there was, like in 2012, 2013, and even 14, my phone was ringing so much, I just wasn't able to keep up with it. Between the home show, the Pittsburgh Home and Garden Show, and Angie's List when I started my company, it's what really helped me grow. How, how are you getting jobs now? So we do a little bit of everything. I mean, between the, the wraps on our trucks, everybody sees us. I mean, every one of our vehicles are wrapped. You know, Penny Saver we're doing good on, believe it or not. We're doing, uh, we're doing Angie's List still, so we still get a little bit from them. We're doing um, the Home Mag. Do, do you have a lot of homeowners stopping by here? We'll get a homeowner to come down and just want to see the shingles. We'll have times where like a, a project or a, a sales guy will say, hey, come on, meet me down in the office. I'll show you like the lifetime pipe flashing versus the regular pipe flashing. If I had to give a homeowner advice on what to look for in a roofing company, number one, I, I would highly recommend hiring somebody that's certified with that, with that shingle manufacturer. You're getting an extended warranty with that. Now, I, like I was on the Certainty Advisory Council and I don't think you're going to use that extended warranty, but it's nice to know that the manufacturer is backing this company up. You know, they're putting their name on the line for it. The other thing I'm going to look for is if, if they have a brick and mortar place, are they, are they set in stone? You know, EAS Roofing, we couldn't just close up our doors tomorrow. Everybody knows where we're at. We're right on Route 8. You're not going to have to find us. We make it pretty easy. So I would find somebody that has a brick and mortar that's local and it's certified with their, uh, with their shingle manufacturer to provide you with the, the warranty. We got our brake, so this brake stays at the, in the shop, and then these two can go. This is actually a... Uh, Mini the, brake. Yeah, it's, you know what it is, it's the ones that the, they have on uh, display. And then over here we stock, you know, I don't know if every roofing company has this problem, but I feel like sometimes these sales guys, right, they, they order a skylight, and every skylight's a CO6, and then you get there and it's an MO6. So we've got extra skylights from, from jobs that we've had. Like I said, we got our plywood stock. Then we've got our pipe flashings. I see a lot of certain teeth. Are you a certain teeth guy? Is yeah. that your go-to shingle? So this year, we've been five, a five-star selection message since 13. 
So, but this year we had to get another brand because certain teas only making certain colors. Um, Shortage. Yeah. So we, we, we got certified with Owens Corning. So we're a preferred contractor with OC. Um, we're VLUX certified, and then we're a five-star selection of Master with Certainty. In the Pittsburgh area, I mean, we've got houses that are 100 years old, and you know some of the challenges you're going to face when you're when you're tearing off a roof, uh, you're going to run into some wood replacement. You know, there's a lot of unknown things that you're going to run into whenever you're working on this. And when you show them that they need this product that they haven't had on their roof for 100 years, and you've got to discuss and tell them why they're going to need ridge vent to help ventilate their roof. Um, no, sometimes it can be a little challenging, but you know, luckily down at our showroom, we're able to show them in person. We'll pull up videos on it and, and show them videos of how edge vent and ridge vent's gonna work together. And also when I grew up in Lawrenceville and in Lawrenceville, houses are connected to each other. So you have the challenge of, you know, one person wants to replace their roof and their neighbor doesn't have the money to replace their roof. You know, what do you do? How do you, help, how do you take care of this homeowner and, uh, and make sure that their roof's not gonna leak? Sometimes we run into underventilated roofs where we have to change the way this house is ventilated. I mean, slate roofs kind of naturally breathe by themselves. So when we're tearing off a roof and installing now synthetic underlayments, a shingle that's gonna be sealed, you know, there's not gonna be enough ventilation in there. So we have to add products like edge vent to, to balance that ridge vent effect. This is our net and we've got holes in it. You know, and, you, and up here it's at AC, you know, appointment center. If we got a hole at the top of our net, we're gonna miss the opportunity even for the sales team to get it. So, you know, conversion rate service is not offered. Like, sometimes we just don't offer it. It's just not business for us, right? Yeah. We're gonna miss some of that. But like wrong qualifications, and, and what that was meaning was, is, you know, taking a guy that, that has a roof repair, putting him with a uh, sales guy, and he don't, want, he don't want a full roof, he just wants a repair, or vice versa. And then, uh, you know, not answering it, and then call twice. So the one thing that we implemented was, you get these leads that come in to your office when you're not here and people call them once and they hang up, you know? So what we do is when they don't answer, we pick up the phone and we call right back. You know, increasing our uh, conversion rate from, you know, a phone call to an actual appointment set. You know, hard work pays off. And, you know, if you, if you wanna do something, you can do it, you just gotta put your mind to it. And I forget who says it, but you know, if, if you believe you can or you believe you can't, you're right. So. I, uh, when I got started in the industry, I wanted to make sure that uh, we were doing things different and providing opportunity to the, the individuals that helped me get here. I'm in front of the camera, but I didn't just start this uh, overnight. It took a lot, of, uh, a lot of team effort to build what we have here today. So if I had to give any advice to a guy that's looking to get into the roofing industry, I mean, the first thing that I would do is I would learn how to be a roofer. I have some respect for the guys that are gonna be out there working with you or for you. If you don't have the respect for the people that are up on that roof every day and you don't truly know what it takes to be out on that roof on a 90 degree day, 100 degree day, I, I think you're gonna go through a lot of people. So, you know, when you find good help, keep it. Um, don't be afraid to tell somebody you don't know, but you're gonna find out and uh, just respect the guys that are up there, uh, you know, working every day for you. Hey guys, Dimitri here. Hope you enjoyed this company tour. Eugene Smith absolutely blew me away with his operation. We loved EIS, how they do business. They're very different and very unique company. Give it a like for them. But also, if you're curious, how are these companies getting on Roofing Insights? Why do we travel to them? I'll tell you, most of them are part of roofing school. We love working with small and big companies. We love telling your story. We have three levels in school. And for those who are curious how it works, go check it out, roofing-school.com. If you want us to come to you, feature you on this amazing channel, if you want our help, uh, optimize your YouTube channel, or maybe just create cool content, or just share your company story, what's so unique about you, reach out to us. Our highest package in the roofing school includes our visit. We will come to you with, with our videographers. We will shoot content for your media channels, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, wherever ideas you have. And we also will feature you on our channel and our website, roofinginsights.com, if we like your story and if we like how you do business. So if you consider yourself good, clean company, good guy in this industry, if you do something that nobody else does, if you have a unique story, we wanna hear from you. But the only way to get in our network is via roofing-school.com. You will have to sign up. Uh, we pretty much guarantee if you choose highest package, 
we're guaranteed to come to you right now with about three months. That's our travel schedule. We can only do about 10 companies uh, for the rest of the year, for 2021. We travel pretty much every week and we love what we do. We love sharing your stories, guys. Give it a like for Eugene and EIS. I'll see you guys in the next video.